Erm um, Sotheby's look, we understand if the less cultured among you only associate the words Tour de France with the likes of Eddie Merckx, the Belgian wonder who won bicycling's most famous race five times between 1969 and 1974. Those steeped in the history of electronic music may immediately think of pioneering German group Kraftwerk's bicycle-themed 1983 single, which appeared in a seminal hip-hop film Break and a Flick that also featured a young Jean-Claude Van Damme as an extra. But please, let us set aside Belgium's two most famous sons and discuss the automotive Tour de France, and more specifically, the Ferrari 250 variant that carried its name. Advertisement, continue reading below Worm Sotheby's The model saw its genesis in a pin in Farina design called the 250 Europa, the first road-going Ferrari to wear the 250 badge, which made its debut alongside the 250 export at the 1953 Paris Auto Show. And although the Europa's engine, like all 250s, displays 3.0 liters, the first Europas were powered by a version of the Aurelio Lampredi designed V12 rather than the Joaquino Colombo engineered the unit that would come to dominate the 250's destiny. A Colombo powered Europa GT followed in 1954 and served as the basis for a series of 250 companies' Yone models, cars that also drew influence from the Lampredi powered 375mm Berlinettas. The Pininfarina firm, overwhelmed with orders for luxurious road cars, passed its designs on to Scaglietti, leaving that concern to ultimately come up with what would become known as the Tour de France variant. Advertisement, continue reading below by 1958, when Wolfgang Seidel took delivery of this particular 250 TDF, the design had been modified with covered headlights. Seidel's car was technically of 1957 specification, the 15th of 17 cars built with triple louvers on the sail panel and the aforementioned streamlined lamps. He often raced with Wolfgang von Trips, who sometimes drove Seidel's earlier TDF and who ultimately crashed that car at the Nürburgring in May of 57. Seidel often kept von Trips away from the new car, which proved to be a good call for preservation's sake, though perhaps not quite as good for the automobile's provenance campaigned in 22 races, this car never suffered a shunt. Seidel notched 11 class and overall victories in minor races and managed second overall at Spa and 58, fourth at the 12 hours of Reims with Von Trips co-driving, and third at the Grand Prix de Paris in 1959. Erm Sotheby's between 1964 and 1973, the car passed through a series of owners before landing in the hands of Swede Christer Mellon, who spent the next 20 years undertaking a well-documented restoration with a focus on originality. The car still wears its original upholstery, and, uncommonly for a competition machine, the engine, transmission, and rear axle are all original to the car. The paint, however, was taken down to bare metal and reapplied, complete with a dashing black hood stripe to match the one Seidel had put on in 1959. 21 years ago, Mellon sold the TDF to its current owner, and it has been entered in a number of events since, including the 1999 Mill Miglia Storica. Now it's for sale again, at the Erm Sotheby's Monaco auction, to be held on May 12th. And while some might find a heavily documented numbers matching Ferrari 250 piloted by a noted driver from the golden era of motorsports to be an irresistible proposition, we're featuring it simply because it's about as striking a TDF as we've ever seen. And isn't that visceral punch in the gut the reason we all fell for Enzo's creations in the first place?